5 Reasons You Have Puffy Eyes, and How to Fix Them Sleep Problems, Your Period, Your Perfume, Your Diet Soda Habit, Find Out About These and Other Surprising Causes of Puffy, Swollen Eyes, So You Can Get Rid of the Puffiness Fast and Help Prevent the Blowfish Look from Returning. Why Do You Have Puffy Eyes? Waking up with puffy, swollen eyes is a major bummer, especially if you need to arrive at work looking bright and alert, or you're tired of masking the puffiness with makeup. Even worse is when the puff is accompanied by dark circles, redness, under eye bags, and or irritation. It's not a pretty look, and it can do a number on your self-esteem. Why does it happen? Many things can contribute to eye puffiness, but the underlying cause has to do with fluid accumulation. For unknown reasons, fluid has collected around your eyes and the surrounding skin tissue. This tissue is among the thinnest in your body, so any swelling there is easy to see and hard to hide. Some of the causes of this fluid retention are relatively harmless and unrelated to a more serious issue, such as not getting enough sleep or consuming foods with too much sodium. Other times, the puffiness is a sign something that needs to be addressed by a doctor, like an infection, says Randy McLaughlin, odd, a professor of optometry at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center. To help you uncover what's behind your puffy eyes, we spoke with a team of doctors, including a dermatologist, ophthalmologist, allergist, and optometrist. Read on for the reasons why fluid accumulation happens and how to combat it, and wake up looking fresh, gorgeous, and like yourself again. You have allergies. The skin around your eyes is very thin, making them extremely sensitive. When skin here comes into contact with allergens floating in the air such as pollen, animal dander, or dust mites, swelling is the result. Adding to the puffiness are allergens that reach the eyes through your nose. Sometimes the sinus cavities behind the eyes become inflamed due to inhalation of the allergens through the nasal passages, says Lisa Elman Grunther, MD, an allergist at the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai in New York City, in an email to help. If allergies are the reason for your puffy eyes, they'll likely also be itchy and watery, another fun effect of allergens. You might also notice dryness and flakiness on the skin, particularly your eyelids, says Dr. Elman Grunther. To reduce allergy-induced puffiness, try over-the-counter eye drops or a saline eye rinse, which wash the allergens out of your peepers. For irritated skin, lubricated ointments not only act as a barrier between the skin and allergens, but it also can soothe and ease redness. A nasal spray might help relieve sinus pressure and in turn to puff your eyes. Using these products occasionally is fine, but relying on them for days on end isn't a good idea. Using over-the-counter eye drops and nasal sprays for too long can make the problem worse and cause dependence, warns Dr. Elman Gunter. You should always confirm with a doctor what's safe to use and for how long before using over-the-counter products for more than a few days. Talk to your doctor about prescription meds as well. While it's hard to totally avoid allergens, reduce your exposure and prevent eye puffiness by staying indoors as much as possible, especially in fall and spring, when trees and plants release more pollen and symptoms can get worse. Keep windows shut, change into another outfit when you come in from outdoors, and consider getting an air filter to cut down on pet dander in your home. You're suffering from pink eye. If you have pink eye, you would think you'd know it. This super contagious eye condition usually causes the mucous membranes that line your eyes to turn pinkish red and swell up, releasing discharge as well. But sometimes it's hard to tell, especially if your pinchy, aka conjunctivitis, is caused by a virus rather than a bacterial infection. Viral pink eye is often accompanied by a watery, clear discharge and can be relatively mild. Bacterial pink eye, on the other hand, is characterized by a yellowish-green discharge, and there might be a lot of it. If your pink eye is triggered by a viral infection, you might also have cold symptoms, explains Kira Manuzis, MD, an ophthalmologist at the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai, in an email to Health.
In such cases it can be associated with an upper respiratory infection, she says. It often starts in one eye and spreads to the other. There's a third form of pink eye that can cause eye puffiness too, allergy-related pink eye, which tends to affect both eyes at the same time and typically causes watery discharge and itching in the corners of your eyes. If you also experience a runny nose or sneezing when you have pink eye, it's probably allergy-related, says Dr. Manusis. Pink eye doesn't come with many warning signs, explains Dr. McLaughlin, but once you notice symptoms, it's important to take special care. If it appears to be bacterial, check in with an MD about getting a prescription for antibacterial eye drops to speed healing. Viral pink eye tends to clear up on its own within 5 to 10 days, while allergy-related pink eye can be treated through avoidance of known allergens and antihistamine drops. If you notice changes in your vision or the color and puffiness don't go away, see your doctor, advises Dr. McLaughlin. You keep in your contact lenses too long. Leave your contacts in for too long, and it could leave you with puffy eyes. A contact lens is a barrier to the eye, explains Dr. McLaughlin. This barrier prevents oxygen from reaching the eyes, which can make your corneas swell. If you sleep in your lenses, you're putting more stress on your corneas and make the swelling even more pronounced. So although it can be inconvenient, the best advice is to make sure you take them out before hitting the sack. Instead of waiting until the last sleepy minute, one trick is to remove your contact lenses in the late afternoon or evening, so you don't forget or get lazy, doze off in them, and wake up looking like a blowfish. You've been crying. Why do eyes get puffy when you cry? The tears that stream down your cheeks after an emotional sob session are thought to contain more water than other tears, like the kind that flow when your eyes are trying to wash out dust or debris. When the watery tears hit ocular tissues that have a high salt content, the tissues swell. It is thought that the tears secreted while crying have a slightly different composition in addition to a different hormonal response, explains Dr. Manusis. It doesn't help that after a crying jag, you might rub your eyes to dry them or mask the tears, and that puffs your eyes up as well. To depuff after watching a tearjerker flick or getting misty-eyed at a wedding, apply a cold compress to your eyes for a few minutes. A splash of cool water and a dab of concealer can also help you hide that you were crying, but concealer can't do much for actually making your eyes less puffy, unfortunately, 